Have you ever watched an ant colony at work and wondered how these tiny creatures coordinate their complex activities so perfectly? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of ants to uncover the secrets of their communication. Welcome to BZU Science YouTube channel, where we explore the wonders of science and nature. Ants are social insects. Living in highly organized colonies can range from a few dozen individuals to millions. Communication is crucial for their survival, enabling them to forage for food, protect their nest, and care for their young. But how do they do it? Ants primarily communicate through chemicals called pheromones, but they also use touch and sound. Pheromones are chemical signals that ants produce and detect through their antenna. These chemicals can convey a wide range of messages, from indicating a food source to signaling danger. When an ant finds food, it releases a trail pheromone on its way back to the nest. Other ants detect this pheromone trail and follow it to the food source, reinforcing the trail with their own pheromones. This creates a strong, continuous path that guides the colony to the food. Different types of pheromones serve different purposes. For example, alarm pheromones alert the colony to danger, causing ants to become aggressive and ready to defend their nest. There are also pheromones used for marking territory, identifying colony members, and even for mating. In addition to pheromones, ants communicate through touch. Antennae are their primary sensory organs, allowing them to detect chemical signals and also to touch and taste objects. When ants meet, they often tap each other's bodies with their antennae and forelegs, exchanging information about their status, the location of food, and other important details. This tactile communication is essential for maintaining the colony's social structure and ensuring that each ant knows its role. For example, when forager ants return to the nest, they may share food with other ants through a process called trophallaxis, which involves regurgitating liquid food directly into the mouth of another ant. This not only nourishes the colony, but also spreads chemical cues that help coordinate their activities. While pheromones and touch are the primary means of communication, some ants also use sound. This is known as stridulation, where ants produce vibrations by rubbing body parts together. For instance, Ants may drum their abdomens against the ground or stridulate using specialized body parts to create a sound. These vibrations can signal alarm, attract mates, or help coordinate group activities. Sound communication is particularly useful in dark environments, such as underground nests, where visual signals are ineffective. By using the combination of chemical, tactile, and acoustic signals. Ants have developed a sophisticated communication system that rivals that of many larger animals. Let's take a closer look at some specific examples of ant communication. The Argentine ant is known for its aggressive behavior and ability to form super colonies. These ants use complex pheromone trails to coordinate massive foraging efforts, sometimes spanning hundreds of meters. On the other hand, the leafcutter ants of Central and South America showcase an incredible division of labor. Workers cut leaves and transport them back to the nest, where other ants use them to cultivate fungus, their primary food source. Leafcutter ants communicate through a combination of pheromones and stridulation to organize their intricate farming system. Fire ants, notorious for their painful sting, use alarm pheromones to quickly mobilize the colony in defense. When a fire ant senses danger, it releases an alarm pheromone that prompts nearby ants to rush to the threat, ready to attack. The sophisticated communication systems of ants are not just fascinating, they also play a crucial role in ecosystems. Ants are essential for processes like seed dispersal, soil aeration, and pest control. Their ability to efficiently communicate and coordinate makes them vital contributors to the health and balance of their environments. For example, some ants engage in mutualistic relationships with plants and other insects. The acacia ants live in acacia trees and protect them from herbivores in exchange for food and shelter. This mutualistic relationship is sustained through continuous communication between the ants and their host plants. Ants are truly remarkable creatures, demonstrating that even the smallest of animals can have incredibly complex and effective communication systems. Through pheromones, touch, and sound, ants coordinate their activities and maintain the intricate social structures of their colonies. Next time you see ants marching in a line or working together, you'll know there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Their world is one of constant communication and collaboration, a testament to the power of teamwork in the natural world. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the fascinating world of ants. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing insights into the wonders of science and nature.